Here's a quick look, and I would emphasize quick, at the way you can use the Phillips curve and ASAD to see what's going on over the course of a business cycle. The business cycle is just a fancy way of saying that over time, as this graph shows, Q, real output, sometimes is expanding in what we call a boom, and sometimes contracting in what we call a recession. The top of the business cycle is called a peak, where the economy is running quite hot, Q is growing fast, labor markets, other factor markets are tight, so you have inflation, but you have low unemployment. A period of contraction of the economy, when Q is shrinking, is called a recession, and the trough is the bottom of a recession, and at the bottom of a recession you won't have much inflation but you'll have high unemployment, particularly cyclical unemployment. The blue line represents the long-run trend growth of the economy, but there's a lot of fluctuation around it, and that fluctuation is called the business cycle. That's also, by the way, while we're here, what the government seeks, seeks to smooth out by counter-cyclical policy, demand management policy, monetary and fiscal policy, tries to smooth out the business cycle to get, you don't get rid of it, but you try to make it smoother. In any case, our topic right now, let's see. At the peak, inflation is high, unemployment is low, and one way to think about that is that aggregate demand is at a high level. The economy is moving, C plus I plus G. You're consuming a lot, investing a lot, government spending a lot, exports are high. At the trough, aggregate demand is low. It's not the only reason, but one of the reasons for the business cycle is the fluctuation of aggregate demand. High aggregate demand produces peaks in the business cycle, booms, periods of growth. Low aggregate demand produces troughs. High unemployment, low inflation, recession. Now, the short-run Phillips curve just observes this fact, that inflation and unemployment in the short run tend to vary inversely. That at the peak of the business cycle, when aggregate demand is high, you have a high rate of inflation and a low rate of unemployment. At a trough in the business cycle, when aggregate demand is low, inflation is low, but unemployment is high. That's just the fact, the sort of statistical observable fact that the short run Phillips curve illustrates. In the long run, however, it's a different story because for reasons having to do with the classical adjustment, the economy is only in long-run equilibrium when unemployment is equal to the natural rate. So the long-run Phillips curve tells you that in the long run, the economy is only going to be in equilibrium when unemployment is equal to the natural rate. So there's no such trade-off in the long run between inflation and unemployment. ASAD also allows us to see the relationship between aggregate demand and peaks and troughs of the business cycle in a slightly different way. Here we see that a high level of aggregate demand pushes the aggregate demand curve up to intersect with SRAS at a high price level and a high level of Q, which means, according to Oaken's law, relatively low unemployment. Whereas a low level of aggregate demand sends us down to a trough in the business cycle where the price level is lower, but so is Q. Unemployment is going to be higher than it was at the peak. That's a problem, but inflation is going to be lower in the trough than at the peak. So here you see how swings in aggregate demand produce swings in inflation unemployment, but they're inverse. At the peak, your problem is inflation, not unemployment. At the trough, your problem is unemployment, not inflation. In the long run, once again, you can use the ASAD curve to show that in the long run, the equilibrium condition in the long run is that unemployment is equal to the natural rate or Q is equal to QP, which are both ways of saying that you're on the PPF. So in the long run, 
whatever's happening to aggregate demand or SRAS, in the long run, long run equilibrium occurs only on the LRAS when Q is equal to QP and unemployment is equal to the natural rate. To put the two together, two different ways to show a similar thing. They're kind of back-to-back -back mirror images. The Phillips curve diagram shows that although you might be up here sometimes at a peak or you might be down here sometimes in a trough of the business cycle, in the long run when unemployment has adjusted to the natural rate, which may take a long time, you'll be somewhere on the long run Phillips curve because unemployment will be at the natural rate. You might be at a high rate of inflation, you might be at a low rate of inflation, but unemployment will be at the natural rate. The ASAD graph tells a similar story in a different way by saying that in the long run you're going to be in equilibrium somewhere on the LRIS when Q is equal to QP. That's where the long run level of Q is. So you're going to be somewhere at this level. In the short run, high level of aggregate demand might shoot you up to a peak like there or drag you down to a trough like there. But those are only short run fluctuations around QP. And in the long run, you're at QP, either way you draw it.